If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. In three, two, one, go for it. All right, so uh, I'm going to start by talking about this weekend and how, how the Yankees uh, came into here, you know, expecting to do good things, but uh, we disappointed them. Uh, I loved it. Loved every minute of it. Went to the game on Friday and Saturday night. Uh, the energy there, just absolutely beautiful. Uh, being being a Baltimore fan, you just you, you can't help but not like the way, you know, how how the Orioles, you know, bring it bring this energy to the stadium, regardless of how we do. You know, every time you go to the ball game, it's just it's extremely fun, regardless if you're winning or losing. Well, it's also fun that we are winning right now. We're 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 doing really well, but uh, you know, it's <laughs> there's no better feeling than having sweeping the Yankees. Out of, out of here, you know, they're a little feisty uh, coming into here, but, um, you know, the pitching was pretty good, but, you know, the run support all, all, all the weekend, the whole entire weekend was, was wonderful. Uh, you know, on Saturday night, Zach Britton, you know, he's been up and down this, this whole season, but, you know, he had a nine-run um, run support. You know, how, how can't you do well for that? Um, you know, that's his tempo. At that point, is so relaxed. You know, some of these times, you know, the, the pitchers have gone into these games and it's just been so close, or you know, we just can't you support the runs. But that's what it's all about. That's why there's 156 games of the year. Uh, the Orioles are doing well, though. They're on the winning record. They're well above 500. Going into the All Star break, I think that's so important to have a great winning record. It's because the momentum towards the end of the season. Right now, you know, we're two two and a half games out. Of Boston, you know, Boston, where they come from. But I see us being probably the best team right now. Uh, even though we're two and a half games out, I'm, I'm not getting nervous. I'm not nervous. Uh, we're not saying, oh, we need to get to this point by a certain time, by the All Star break. We need to be in first place. No. Come October, Orioles are going to be in, in, in the playoffs, regardless. You know, um, winning this weekend, um, the Yankees are injured, uh, but. That, that has nothing to do with it. They, they still came out and showed a pretty good effort. Um, their pitching is pretty good, you know, and CeCe Sabathia and uh, David Phelps, all that. But, uh, you know, with, with the pitching, the way it's been, and with the run support, the run support's just been fabulous. Chris Davis with his 31 home runs and 25 RB, uh, doubles, and uh, the youngster Manny Machado, Keeps uh, impressing everybody. Keeps impressing uh, his uh, his model is uh, Brooks Robinson. You know, Brooksy uh, is getting a little uh, nervous. You know, his records are on the line. His reputation of you know Manny Machado is coming up. But uh, as far as you know, the Orioles come going um, continuing from here tonight. They they go against a last place Chicago White Sox team. Uh, <laughs> I would love to say that we can come out there with a sweep again, you know, going in there with a uh, four-game win streak. Uh, it, it, I, I see nothing, you know, holding us back from here. Uh, we're going against John Danks tonight. He's one at five, losing record. But you know, anything can happen. It's the major leagues. They're ball players. You have to go in there and do your best. The Orioles, you know, have a have a great pitching staff going into this game. You know, Jason Hamill's pitching tonight. Seven and uh, seven and four is his record, I, I believe. And uh, you know, and he he's he's had a rough year. You know, he, coming in, acting as if he's the ace, maybe not so much the ace, but you know, one of our better pitchers. He's he's got the good stuff. Um, but going into Chicago tonight, you know, I, I see I see no reason for us to not pull out with at least the series. Would be you know by saying that. They should come out with a sweep. They should, but I'd like to see that as a fan. But, you know, the run support's always going to be there with Adam Jones in the lineup and, uh, you know, Nate McLeod coming through with the big hits. But that's that. That's, that's the Orioles right there. You know, their run support has, has gotten the pitching to where it needs to be. They've been more comfortable. You know, Zach, like I said, Zach Britton showed that. You know, he had great composure on the mound on Saturday in front of a sold out Camden Yards. You love it. You love you love the fans energy and everything down there. But I, I like to see that 
you know, the Yankees did come down here. The fans are real loyal to their team, but uh, it is nice to see that the Orioles fans are, uh, they, they took over the stadium. It wasn't more, more Yankees fans than Orioles, you know, it was nice. But, uh, you know, the, to the hot uh, talk today is, is the trade. You know, Jake Arrieta and Pedro Stroop going to Chicago for uh, uh, Scott Feldman and uh, Steve Cleverman, uh, Clevenger, sorry, um, Mount St. Joe's prodigy. Uh, it's nice to see Baltimore um, players coming out into the major leagues. You know, you got Gavin Floyd, Mark Teixeira. You hope to see that uh, Ryan Ripken come, coming up, uh, Matt Boss from Maryland, from Calvert Hall. But, uh, you know, this trade, I think, I think it's going to bring something good. You know, Scott Feldman is 7-6 and six on the year. He's shown some light in the past, you know, in 2009 with the Texas Rangers. He was, I think he had seven, yeah, 17, 17 wins and eight losses. You know, the, guy, the guy's got good stuff. He's got good experience. He's been in the major leagues. He's 30 years old. Um, you know, Jake Arrieta just never seemed to get, you know, get out of that hole that he just kept digging himself. Pedro Strip, you know, he had the stuff. He just couldn't control it, he, you know. But he, you know, Pedro Strobe, I don't see, I, I, I felt bad for him towards, this, towards the end of this Orioles career. Um, he had that Jamarcus Russell effect, you know, every time he would come in, just the booze would overwhelm him. But uh, I, I see good things coming from this, from this trade, especially in Scott Feldman, bringing in some experience and stuff like that. Um, you know, time will tell if uh, uh, Steve Clevenger We'll uh, go anywhere from here, but that's that. I mean, and uh, Nasty's back. You can wrap up. <laughs> Wrapping it up. You can wrap up by saying your name, because I can't pronounce your name, man. This is Mark Lukianchuk. <laughs> Lukianchuk. I like Lukianchuk. that. I would have never had that in a million years. Uh, from Loyola, good job. Thank you. Appreciate you coming in and uh, being a part of the competition. The Thanks Superstar Semifinals are next Tuesday night, a week from the night at Hooters in Towson. We have 23 contestants now uh, involved. We heard from Don Rossetti, Ben Heck, Adam Voris, Barry Kamen, Brian Bauer, Keith Henry, and now Mark Lukianchuk. I'm on it. Tim Jones will be our final contestant when we continue on with the Baltimore. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. 